Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the coronation of the PAFA football season in a rematch of the opening game of the season as the defending champion Tri-City Panthers take on the Oklahoma City Jaguars in your 2018 championship game. The Panthers set to punt, but there's some friendly fire as the ball bounces off of one of the other members of the Panthers. It's recovered by Eric Buck of the Jaguars, and he's running away from the Panthers like Stephen A. Smith's hairline runs away from his forehead, and they're going to have a formal recovery touchdown. The OKC Jags take a 7-0 lead but the Panthers must have called Allen Iverson because they're quick to find their answer as Garrett Griffith goes to the air and finds TJ Covington in the back of the end zone for a Panthers touchdown he was mere millimeters away from going out of bounds that touchdown was closer than a Neo single in 2008 but the Jaguars would waste little time trying to respond as they would begin to march down the field like it was the third month of the year with a 17-yard gain. Then Charles Shelburne would get the handoff, hit the circle button, use the spin move, and bring them inside the 10. This would set up a Jaguars field goal that would go through the uprights and they would take a 10-7 lead. The Jaguars looking to extend their lead would find themselves at the Panther Pastry Shop. Hi, may I have a cinnamon roll? No, we only have apple turnovers as the ball is intercepted by Lee Palmer and he's going to turn it all the way back to the 39 yard line as he runs out of bounds Rico Watkins looking to cash in on the turnover as he'd rifle the ball to TJ Covington but Kenneth Price would activate his dreadlock powers and intercept the ball inside the 5 yard line and this would send us into halftime with the Jaguars leading 10 to 7 let's take one step away from the PAFA and take one look at the MPFL playoff action as the West Texas Drillers take on the West Texas Lions the Lions back to receive the kick at the 14 yard line and they turned the difficulty down to rookie turned their game sliders all the way up activated a couple of Madden cards because the drillers will not catch them today as they open up the game with an 86 yard kickoff return touchdown then later in the first quarter they would punch their ticket into the end zone once again with a five yard touchdown Gaston Esarellis takes the snap steps up in the pocket rolling to his left he would call on the power of Hitmon top use rapid spin but it seems Kyoga used sheer cold because he uh, uh, coughing up the ball as he fumbles on the play it's recovered by the West Texas Drillers and they return it all the way back to the 40 yard line then for the Drillers Adrian Pertal would take the snap but it seems he's still going through puberty because he dropped his ball at the 42 he would recover it at the 35 and he's sacked back at the 31 yard line Pertal would take the snap again but it seems he does not know how to activate his dreadlock powers as he'd be listening to the cha-cha slide going in reverse reverse you're going in the wrong direction he's sacked yet again then in the second quarter the drillers would be driving Pertal would take the snap roll to his right hey when I had an afro what did I use to comb out my hair he used the pick as it's intercepted by the West Texas Lions and they return it all the way back to the 26 and the Lions would make them pay as Gaston Estorellas connects with his receiver and he's got a convoy of bodies moving with him like this was a mutant transport in Deadpool 2 for the touchdown in the second half the more things change the more they stay the same as Pertal takes the snap and somebody jammed his remote on the reverse button as he loses the ball yet again it's recovered at the 50 yard line they would make their way back to the 40 yard line and Pertile would take the snap roll to his right and it seems things are changing I lied it's intercepted yet again and returned back to the 40 yard line then the Lions would put the game on ice and tell the drillers this is not fracking this is a football field and on the kingdom of football we are the Lion King score a touchdown and put the game away as they would go on to win 25 to 0. That does it for our coverage of the MPFL. Let's get right back into the championship game of the PAFA. In the third quarter, both the Jaguars and the Panthers would exchange touchdowns, thus making the score 17 to 13. But in the fourth, the Jaguars would look to extend their lead as they would bring the ball inside the 10. Faced with third and goal, they have one opportunity to get into the end zone, but they would be stopped and have to settle for a 22-yard field goal, which would go through the uprights, thus making the score 20 to 13. 13. On the ensuing drive, the Jags looking to put the game away. And the runner would jump out of one tackle. Evade another defender and get tackled at the 49. Then with two minutes left to go, he'd get the handoff, split in the middle, break into the open field, and run all the way into the end zone to put the game on ice. As the Oklahoma City Jaguars defeat the defending champions 26 to 13 and win the PAFA championship. But for the Tri-City Panthers, head to Elimination Station, take out your Metro cards, and get aboard the L-Train.
train but you won't stay aboard for too long because upon your exit consider your names written down in the death note because your dreams of going back to back your dreams of repeating as champions have been absolutely deleted